So I've got this set up here. I've got a hot plate, petri dish, and phenosalicylate, which is a solid crystal. And to put it in the dish here, you can see it looks a lot like sugar, but it has a very low melting point. So we're gonna put that on the hot plate, let it melt, you're gonna get a bunch of it in there. And once it's completely melted, we're gonna take it off the hot plate. We have three different Petri dishes. So I'm gonna leave one of them out and just let it cool and harden and recrystallize that way. Then we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time we're gonna take the Petri dish put it in a, an ice bath here, and this ice bath will allow those crystal, allow the phenosalicylate to crystallize much more quickly. It's gonna cool down a lot faster. And then we're gonna do a mixture of the two. We're going to melt the phenosalicylate, take it off, and let some, some crystals begin to develop, and then, after some of them have begun to develop, then we're gonna stick it in the ice bath. And we're gonna compare all three and see how different they are. All right, let's do it. All right, here's my setup under the fume hood. All right, so this is sped up to six times normal speed. Uh, it took a while to melt because the hot plate wasn't on at first, so that's why it takes a little while. I had to add some more there. Uh, but as the crystals begin growing, notice the snowflake appearance to them. But that's not the actual crystal. The crystal themselves are actually these rhombus shapes that you might be able to see there a little bit. Let me highlight them for you. See there. There's one there. Very rigid geometric shape. And there's a couple more there, and you should be able to see more throughout as they're growing. Under the right light, you can see the crystals are about one to maybe one and a half centimeters. All right, so it's almost completely done crystallizing now. I'm gonna set this aside and start on the next one. And we're back up to six times speed again. This time it melted much more quickly because the plate and the Petri dish were already hot. And then we'll stick it back in the ice bath. And see if you can spot the first crystals forming. Right there, you see it? Right there. Just like that, there's a bunch more. Now, I accidentally put this in lopsided, so there's a deeper side and a shallower side, which you can probably tell by the way they're crystallizing. I'm going to slow the video back down to normal speed so you can hear what it sounds like as it's crystallizing. Hear those clicks? It's the crystals forming. All right, so here's the two side by side. This is the one that cooled more slowly, just in open air, without using, uh, without using the ice bath. This is the one that cooled in the ice bath. Now, what do you notice? One are much, much smaller. Um, something else that is difficult to see on the camera, that, that maybe you can kind of see it there, is there's a geometric shape to those crystals. Again, this is sped up to six times normal speed. Just like the first time, the crystals grow into rhombus shapes with a snowflake pattern, but it's kind of hard to see it with this angle and this lighting. And I'm skipping the video ahead periodically just to get through it. And about this time, I should have changed it to the ice bath, but I got distracted, so I was a little delayed. Once I put it into the ice bath, though, I actually slow this down to 2x speed because I was holding the camera in my hand. It's a lot more shaky. But you can see, just like the second time, the crystals are growing much more quickly. You can't see the rhombus shape at all in the quickly growing crystals. All right, now that it's all done, we're gonna zoom in on a single image of this last experiment. See on this side how the crystals are well-defined and you can kind of see their rhombus shapes. When we pan over to the side that grew in the ice bath, we see crystals that grew very rapidly. 
We can see the white, but the crystals themselves are too small to distinguish from each other. Here's an animated GIF of the first experiment. And when I highlight a few of them, you should be able to see several more of them throughout the dish. See how nice they look? Okay, one more time, let's zoom in on the fast growing crystals. And you can kind of see a geometric pattern in these zigzag lines, but they're not nearly as well defined as the slow growing ones, and they're much smaller.